cosmetic breast surgery is one of the most common forms of plastic surgery. Following pregnancy and weight loss, many women opt to have this done to restore body image, confidence, and a sense of well-being. Dr. Richard Restifo is listed by Castle Connolly as one of the top doctors in the New York metro area and joins us now. But Dr. Restifo, you're actually here in Connecticut, aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh, offices in New Haven and Wilton. Very good. Now, women's bodies do go through a tremendous uh, change during pregnancy and, and weight loss. Is this the most common reason people come in asking for breast augmentation? Yes. Uh, a woman in her late 30s has finished having her children and the breasts have uh, suffered the effects of pregnancy. So what do you do? What are the options? Well, the most commonly performed plastic surgery procedure is breast augmentation. Uh, the problem is loss of volume following pregnancy and also loss of elasticity of the skin, the skin stretches. So both of these can be addressed with augmentation and mastopexy or breast lift. So how much of is age though a factor in this? Time and gravity are, are there and we've yet to learn how to control them. Yes. Uh, so age is indeed a factor. I know yes. a lot of women complain because you know after breastfeeding and everything they want their breasts to be back to normal but really can't be. No, there's, there's no way to bring the skin back to where it was to restore the volume to where it was without surgery. And your options are, you've brought two implants here, saline or silicone? Yes, these are uh, both uh, silicone implants and this is the sort of the size range from a tiny implant to a very large implant. Most of the implants are in between these two extremes. So you can be subtle or spectacular depending on what you're looking for. And how do you advise women when they come in and asking for breast augmentation? How do you determine the size? That's probably the most difficult uh, part of it, but what we do is we give patients implants to actually take home with them to try out. Oh, really? Uh, put them in their bra, wear them around, uh, see how they look and feel. It's about the look. We have some pictures that we could put up on the screen and uh, it discusses a little bit of the procedure here. What happened, doctor? Uh, this is a breast lift. The picture on the left uh, demonstrates the typical appearance after pregnancy and uh, breastfeeding. There is loss of volume and loss of skin elasticity and everything moves south. A breast lift is essentially a tightening of the skin. Uh, the skin is drawn together underneath the breast and closed in the, commonal, the common lollipop incisional pattern and often this is done in conjunction with a breast implant. How long of a surgery are we talking about here? About an hour. An hour. And I know women are concerned about scarring as well. Uh, yes, there are scars, but they tend to be inconspicuous. And aren't there options you could do it through a belly button or maybe an armpit? Is that? Uh, that is an option, but rarely for a woman that has lost uh, the skin elasticity. Now, do you do the same thing for a woman who's coming in after weight loss? Is it the same procedure? Uh, pretty Basically. similar, yes. The, the forces at play in weight loss are similar to those at play in pregnancy. So what's the feedback been by patients? Do they love their, their new additions? They, they tend to be very happy. Uh, they say things like, I'm back. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm we're back. <laughs> I'm of, we're back, yes. Exactly, right? I'm restored to where I was before. So it's a sense of rehabilitation. Exactly. Now, some women do have issues of leaking. How do you resolve that? Well, the implants won't last forever, um, maybe 15 years. So you, you do need to come in and replace them? I think in all likelihood in a woman's lifetime, yes, she will need to replace them, but there's no harmful effects from a broken implant. And so when it is broken, what do you do? Uh, simply replace it. You just go back it. in and redo it? Yes. Oh, amazing. We amazing. should mention you're going to be at Girls' Night Out tonight. How e fun. <laughs> yes, we're throwing a party and you're all invited. <laughs> That's terrific. All the information is actually on the screen. It's uh, tonight between 5 and 9 at the Toyota Presents Oakdale Theater. You're going to be on hand, doctor, to answer questions or what type of... Uh, Yes, uh, myself and my staff will be there. We have all sorts of plastic surgical paraphernalia, uh, pictures, brochures, information, implants, all sorts of things that may be of interest. What are the most common questions women ask when they come and meet you? Uh, usually they um, want to know when they can run around after their children again. Is the, <laughs> yeah. the comments. When can they, you know, how long do I have to have a nanny or someone to take care of my kids? What is the recovery uh, uh, About a period. week to two weeks. That's it? Well, for, for most things, for, for vigorous things like going back to the gym, it's about a month. And the risks involved? I know there's always risks involved when you have surgery. Uh, there are risks involved, but they are, you know, they are low. Uh, for healthy uh, women, the risks are quite low. Very good. All right. Um, are there any, any side effects? It just You have to really recoup for the week? 
more or less? You have to recoup, uh, you have to maintain them, you have to tell your mammographer that you have uh, breast implants in place so they can take the proper studies, uh, the proper angles of the film, uh, but no long-term health effects. So other than that, life should be fairly normal? Absolutely. Oh, that's great. All right. Dr. Richard Restifo has offices, as he said, both in New Haven and Wilton. That phone number is 203-772-1444. Or you can come to WTNH.com and click on Connecticut Style. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Very informative stuff. Thank you for having me.